If factoring a trinomial where the coefficient of the squared variable is other than 1, there are two main methods. One is trial and error. The other method is the AC method, sometimes called factoring by grouping. I will show factoring by both of these methods. First, I'll show factoring by trial and error. Second, I'll show factoring by the AC method or factoring by grouping. So depending on which one you use, go to that section. I'll first do trial and error, then the AC or by grouping. What's the first step in factoring any polynomial? Look for a common factor. There is none here other than 1 or negative 1. So next you count the number of terms. There's three terms. Let's see if this factors into a binomial times a binomial. And I'll use the trial and error method first. What times what gives me 3x squared? I'll try 3x and x. And now let's write down factors of 2. We'll write down negative factors of 2 only because I have a middle term that's negative. So let's try negative 2 and negative 1. If that doesn't work, I'll switch them. And I'm looking for the correct middle term. That's negative 3x and that's minus 2x. And if I find that sum, that is negative 5x. So I have factored correctly. And the factorization is 3x minus 2 times x minus 1. What's the first step in factoring? Remember, it's looking for a common factor. There is none, so now let's factor by the AC or grouping method. I'm looking for two numbers whose product is 3 times 2 or 6 and whose sum is negative 5. Two numbers whose product is 6 and whose sum is negative 5. That would be negative 2 and negative 3. Now I'll use these to rewrite that middle term. So remember negative 2 and negative 3. And I'll write this as 3x squared. I'll write that as minus 2x minus 3x plus 2. There's the negative 2 and the negative 3. I haven't changed anything because those two terms have a sum of negative 5x. And now let's factor by grouping. Here there's a common factor of x. When I factor it out, I have 3x minus 2. Look at these two terms and keep in mind that I want this factor left over when I factor something out of these two terms. There's really no common factor, but I will factor out a negative 1 so that what's left looks like this binomial. Negative 3x divided by negative 1, that's positive 3x. And 2 divided by negative 1, that's minus 2. And you can check by multiplying. But now notice that these two terms have a common factor of 3x minus 2. When I factor it from here, I have x minus, when I factor it from here, 1. There's my factorization.